Welcome YouTubers, I'm excited to continue Hillbilly Moon Explosions Call Me. I taught you all the parts recently, got a great response. In fact, the guys from Hillbilly Moon Explosion shared it and I spoke to both Duncan and Oliver from the band. So I figured, you know what, uh, in the good spirit of that, I'm going to teach the second part and release it publicly. I was going to save it for Patreon members and website members, but I'm going to teach it anyway. If you do want the transcription though, you will have to be a member of the Patreon. Except for maybe the guys from Hillbilly Moon Explosion, I'm more than happy to share the transcription with you guys. I probably owe you that much. So today, I'm going to walk you through everything that you just watched in that little intro. Of course, if you do want the transcription, jump on the Patreon, or if you want to delve a little bit deeper, check out the website, but we'll, you know, you can check all that out another time. We're going to get to work. I'll bring the camera for I'll bring the camera forward, and we will uh, do the lesson. I'll show you the guitar thing parts. Okay, so I, I did play... All the sections that we haven't done in the previous video, uh, not necessarily in the order of the song, just all the new sections that you will encounter. Uh, so my advice is make sure you know the song quite well, but I'll give you some tips along the way. So the first thing that happens uh, after the chorus, the second time around I think it was, basically when you get up to the bit you didn't learn in the last one, it will go like this. <laughs> You've already learnt that. We actually play the exact same thing up at the third fret now. So we go three. Oh, five, three. Sorry, I was thinking of the, yeah. So um, what happens there, uh, and by the way, uh, Duncan actually told me that uh, he doesn't pick too much. Not as much as I said in the first tutorial. Uh, he said it's sort of more of a... A bit more relaxed, which is cool and sounds great and works. Um, I overcomplicate things sometimes. So um, we've moved up. We're going three, five, three, five, three, five, five, three. That was on the fourth string. Um, so it's really just a variation of what you already played. So we probably don't need to spend too much time on that. We're going to move up to the fifth fret now and play a D minor chord. Okay, D minor. So from the fifth string, five, seven, seven, six, and we're flattened to get the first string. So strum that D minor. By the way, this is bar 30 on the transcription. Strum the D minor. And then what we do is we do this, which is just picking the fourth string, third string, second string, and third string again. And then we play an A minor chord. And then we get this really cool lick. So with this one, this is the count. We go one, two, three, four, one, two. 
So it's on the end of the two, and the lick goes like this. Uh, and I like to start it with an up. Up on the fifth fret of the sixth string. It's just an A minor pentatonic scale. Then we pick down on the five, hammer to the eight. Pick up on the five on the fourth string. Pick down on the five on the fifth, sorry, I said fourth string. Fifth string. Okay, and then we pick down on that and hammer to the seventh fret. And then we pick up on the five on the fourth string. Okay, I'll play that slow. Okay, I like to do that as an upstroke because we're coming off the beat. So one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and uh, four, and uh, okay, they're triplets. Three and uh, four and uh. And then strum uh, D minor again. We pick the same thing, so we're now in bar 34. Uh, we're now in bar 35, actually. Just as in the first time around. Just pick the same thing. Then strum the A minor the same way in bar 36. Two, three, four. But this time we start the lick on the and of the four of bar 36 going to bar 37. So one, two, three, four. And one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and ah. Uh. Okay, so very, very similar concept. We're just playing through A minor pentatonic. So up on the five, we're on the six string now. So up on the five on the six string. Pick down, hammer to the eight. I think I might have said hammer to the six before when uh, we were talking about the previous one. I might have meant eight. So sometimes, yeah, I may say things wrong because my brain's getting way ahead. So we pick up on the five, down on the five, hammer to the eight. Pick up on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Pick down on the same note. Hammer to the seventh. Pick up on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Pick down on that same note and hammer to the seven. Pick up on the fifth fret of the third string. Pick down, hammer to the seven. And that's it. Okay, watch that technique of that right hand. I think it's really useful to be uh, done exactly the way I'm doing it. I've got good reason for telling you to do it that way. I would try and make all my face-to-face -face students do things this way, and, including my private online students, etc. So then we play an E-flat major. So that's 6, 8, 8, 8. And then we... The same thing we did with D minor. Okay, in the same timing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, really nice. Simple. Great. So... 38, this is, that was bar 39, this is now bar 40, we play a B flat, 2, 3, 4, 1, uh, 1, E and, okay, into the 2, so it's, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, like that, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, it's a bit hard to count, it's like a 2, Ah, on the three. Very hard to count. Easy for me to just play for you. So I'm playing the B flat major, which is six, eight, eight. Use your pinky for that eight. Second finger there on the seven, bar there on the six and six there. Two, three, four, one. And then we're doing six to eight. Then the sixth fret on the first string. Okay. So now that takes us to bar 42. We're doing a big C minor chord, which is 8, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8. Now, if you're feeling like it's a bit stop-start and you're just learning the bits without me playing through consistently, open another link with the song, open another link with this same video, and keep playing that intro back to see how I play through these parts and just flick between them. It's way easier than me, um, you know, continuing to play through parts. I'll do a bit of both, but, you know, it, that's my advice to get around that. So, bar 42... The A minor chord, uh, 8, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8, barring. So if you're not great at bar chords, just work at it. If it doesn't sound great, keep persisting. Just keep trying to play the song, even if it sounds a little rough, because your hand will get stronger, and one day you will just go, oh, wow, I can do that easily. So we're strumming. 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, 2. And then we go to an A flat. So it's a really weird rhythm there. Really short on that third C minor, it's so a very short one, two, and then uh, there's a bar of two four there. So we go to bar 44 and we get this A flat. 
and then we get this, uh, so that's one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so you just get that nice. I think he slides back into it actually. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah, bit dramatic, bit dramatic, I like it. Um, so I'm gonna play, let's play everything up to here, okay? I did say just get the playthrough, but why not? Let's just have a little revision. One, two, three, four, one. So this is where we're up to. That's an A flat chord. That is 11, 13, 13, 13. Now you can sort of imagine you're rolling your hand this way a little bit when you play that third finger. You'll get a little bit more pressure. And the sides of your fingers are a little flatter than the actual bottom of your finger, I find. So a little bit of pressure that way will help you get nice, clean chords. I gotta love the sound of a Gretsch with a bit of overdrive. There's a lot happening. Thick, but still rich in color now we have an f minor okay uh oh i didn't actually have sorry one two three four one just sort of slide that chord back into place you don't have to do that you could just up, down, down. okay and then into bar 46 we get this big f minor chord just like that okay uh, so the F minor, one, three, three, one, three, three, okay, on the, from the sixth string, barring. Again, a lot of barring in this song. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then in bar 48, we're playing a G major, just like this, which is a three, five, five, four, two, two. Uh, sorry, three, three. Why do I struggle with this? Um, three, five, five, four, three, three. And then the rhythm, one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so now we're actually up to the guitar solo. Now what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna show you the technique. You are really uh, just holding, uh, whatever you're holding on the sixth string, you're holding on the first string. So I'm not gonna get, you know, I'm not gonna mention that for every time. Just lock that in place and remember you just need to follow what you're doing on the sixth string on the first string, okay? Whether you want to use your thumb, you could use your thumb, okay? Or you could put your second finger over the top or your first finger, whatever's comfortable. I find the second finger and then third finger probably the easiest. I tuck the pickup in my finger like this. You could say Brian Setzer style, okay? Um, and I use my thumb on the sixth string and my second finger on the first string. So this is uh, marked F on the transcription. This is the solo and it's bar... 50. Is that bar 50? It is bar 50. Okay, one, two, three, four, one. Oh, sorry, I missed the note. Three, four, one. one. So let's let's just get that phrase. So I'm going f again. Whatever I'm doing here, I'm doing here. So we're sliding in five, five. Five, five, three, one, open, open. Okay, then we do the open again. And then we do eight. Then you sort of pick those again and slide it back to five. I don't think I did that in the playthrough, but to really play it like the man himself, that's really has a great feel. The real, those little details make a difference. He kind of hits it late and then slides really quickly to that five. So that's everything from 50 to 54. So from the beginning of 54, it's similar. It goes like this. Okay, we go right up to the 12. So the first two bars of that, 54 and 55, are exactly the same as 50 and 51. These are the Five, five, three, one. But then uh, in 56, we slide right up to the 12th fret, okay? 
Then we come up to the 13. Slide back to the 10, pick the 10s and slide to the 12. Okay. okay, how expressive you want to be. You don't have to take this too literally. You can just play it however you can manage it and it will still come out pretty cool because you have to sort of slide around. So 13, 10, 12. Okay, and that is in bar 57. At bar 58, the chord changes. So, the well, I haven't been mentioning the chords, but they are on the transcription, which always help you know kind of what's going on harmonically or like how it's relating to the chords in the song. So it goes to an E flat chord and we're playing the note uh, G, which is the third degree of E flat. Sounds really nice when you do that. So we're playing 15. I'll, I'll play the line and then I'll walk you through it. Okay, so we're going 15, 13, 11, the slide, 3, 4, 6, pick the 6 again, slide up to 13, take your time a little, and then 11 to 10. Again, there's just drama in all of this playing, and I mean that. It's awesome. That's what you want, right? You want theatre, you want drama, you want excitement, you want, you know, just the way he lays back on the notes. It's, it's just great guitar work, you know. You don't have to be shredding, and you want to be doing it better than that if you did anyway, but you don't want to be, you don't have to be shredding to be playing amazing guitar, and that is amazing guitar work. So, uh, then we get back into some chord stuff, which I think is a really nice way to treat a solo, to throw chords in there. So we get this C minor. Okay, it's the C minor from before, and we just we just build up the strumming. Six and five, sort of five, four, and three, and then five, four, three, and two. Okay, and then the last one, really focus on the upper four strings. A flat major. Uh, this time you play it like this. I think I, I think you played it like this. I might might be being fooled by the video, but so this is like a C major chord or a D. You could think of a D chord. Okay, um, they, they are connected. So, pinky on the 11, this is probably the hardest chord in the song, or one of. Third finger on the 10, so that's 11 of the fifth string. That's an A flat. We've got a C here. First finger on the E flat there. Second finger on the A flat again. And you're barring to get the eight there. Grab your whammy if you can. And then in the next bar, uh, again, I might just be seeing him mucking around in the video. He either moves up to here, but I actually think he went... Um, I, it didn't really change the chord much, but I think that's what he did, so... Uh, so we got... And he just, yeah, so he hits the fifth and fourth, so he's holding 11 on the fifth string, 10 on the fourth, and pinky on the 13 on the third. Just like that, okay? Then we play this F minor, and we go. So, so it's an eight, ten, ten, nine. And we, again, you sort of build it up. Fifth and fourth and third. Fourth, third and second. Third, second and first. Pinky on the 11. Then lift your pinky again. And then play like 8, 8, 8 across and slide it up to the 12th fret and add the third finger to the 13. Then what we do is make a V shape, say anywhere you like on the fretboard. You want to play, let's say we do it from the 7th fret. First finger, third finger, second finger, okay. So it's like a V shape. It's like how you play a D chord. And we slide it, and we put the pinky then as well, flat on the first two strings. This is a little tricky, this chord. I, I took a few goes in the playthrough at the beginning. I actually mucked it up a couple times. I think that's the chord. Is that what I wrote down there? 15, 40, yeah. So, you, or you could even just slide your first finger in and add the rest. So the chord is, uh, it's a type, it's a G9 slash B, essentially. We don't really need to get into why. Uh, but it's, so you've got a B, we'll get into it briefly, it's got the flat 7, that's the ninth degree of G, okay, so 
it's got the ninth degree in there and it's starting on a B, so that's why we have slash B. Great chord. Once again, well done. Duncan. Finish with this little power chord movement. And we're back to all the riffs you already know. I think it was a chorus. Etc. Everything that happens there you know until the final chorus, okay? So now I'm going to walk you through the final chorus. And if you've come this far, congratulations. If you've come this far and you're not using the transcriptions, you could consider just joining the Patreon because you must really be enjoying the lessons. Uh, but please at least make sure you're liking, commenting, and doing all those things because that really does help the videos. Um, yeah, and hit the bell if you're subscribed so you know when I'm releasing videos because only like not even 10% of my subscribers have hit the bell because I always forget to tell people to do that. That's why. So we've got... It, the chords go C minor, E, F, and A flat. But what the very clever guitar player has done with this is he's uh, sort of arpeggiated or played little triads higher up the neck. So this is a C minor. That's A, 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 or first, second, third, second in terms of picking. And that pattern doesn't really change. So we do this B, uh, E flat chord now. Okay, it's just the top of a E flat chord. So it's six, eight, eight, eight. And then we do this F chord. It's like a D shape. We could do it like that. So that's five, six, five, six. And then we've got the A flat, four, four, five, four. Okay, top of, a, of an A flat chord. That repeats twice. Then he moves it up. Same principle. This is the C minor, a bit like a D minor chord way up here, or a D minor chord here. We drop it down a tone. That is a C minor. And then we play uh, an E flat major like this. Okay. So we've got uh, 11, 13, 12, 13. 11, 11, 12, 11. Then we have this F chord. Uh, whoa, where have I gone? Oh, sorry, I lost my place for a second. So 8, 10, 10, 10. 8, 10, 10, 10. You can see which fingers I'm using, hopefully, nice and clearly. And then the A flat is again like the D shape. Because if we played D, E, F, G, A, move it back one's A flat. So it's simple stuff used extremely effectively, really, really well. I'm, I, I love that kind of playing. It's just all taste and no fill, okay? All killer, no filler, as they say. Then uh, it repeats that one last time, so it does it twice, and it does it a third time, but it goes... So it's... And that's it. And then it does the riff from the beginning. But finishes on a power chord three and five. So that was an epic lesson. I uh, I really want to get back to just teaching more of songs. I really enjoy making all the fun videos and stuff that kind of feeds the YouTube algorithm. But really, I think you know you're here probably to learn songs, or it's probably the most useful reason anyone could come to my channel. So I'm really proud of all the effort and work that's gone into transcribing these songs and the collection that I've built up. Um, and I just feel good when I do these. So I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. I'd love to see uh, some, maybe some people put some covers up, and then you know, of course, link me in it, and I'd love to check it out and see how you're going. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to ramble on for the sake of it if I don't say goodbye. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and have a great day.